a couple of times people wrote me about, gee, uh, I wish I had a serious relationship like you do with my husband, Doug. How do you find somebody like that? What do you do? So we're not talking about Facebook or uh, Grindr or any of these uh, social media groups uh, where people just connect for sex or, or inter- phone sex or whatever. I'm talking about serious stuff. Now, I have some tips for you that have served me very well over my, what, 40, 50 years of being gay. One is don't connect with people who are not local to you. It's just ridiculous. They can't be serious. Oh, you know, I'm, you look so nice and I, I'm attracted to you. I'm, I'm willing to relocate to your area. Bullshit. It, it just doesn't work. Um, anybody who won't put their face on that kind of a website is not serious. They're either closeted. It's a guy married to a woman. Uh, it's somebody just maybe too insecure. Oh, I don't want my face to show on a, on a website where I'm saying I'm gay or I'm looking for a gay partner. That's not who you want. You don't need insecurity. You want stability in a relationship. Uh, don't connect with guys who say, oh, I have a partner or a wife and I want to have a relationship on the side. That might be a sexual thing, but it's not a serious matter. Some people will connect with you. You seem to hit it off. Uh, you exchange pictures, everything looks cool, but they never have time to get around to actually meeting you. What does that tell you? It's not a big priority with them. They're too busy. Maybe that's why they're single in the first place. They just never get around to it. It's not important enough. So my thing is somebody can't meet me for whatever reason, uh, I don't worry about them. If you go to ask people that you meet personal questions and they're very evasive or secretive, that's not too good either. It's okay to be not forthcoming with personal information the first time or two you you meet somebody on the internet. But if they continue to be that way, it's not gonna be a good relationship. You have to be open and honest. And I would also suggest that sometimes you meet people who are desperate. They come across as needy. These are not good candidates for serious relationships. You don't enter a relationship because they need it. You enter a relationship because you want it and you mutually want it. That's really important. So think about these things. Think about reality. Think about real people. Think about meeting people face to face at a park, at a coffee house, whatever and see them face to face and have a nice chat. That's the best advice I can give you. And I've met a lot of good friends that way. This is how I met my current husband for 30 years. Why we get along so well is because there was no bullshit in the beginning. We met through a personal ad because there was no internet back then. But we met within a week or two of connecting through the mail. We exchanged pictures and we just met. And for me, it was love at first sight. I wish you the same good luck. Thank you.